What are fees? With very few exceptions, almost all blockchain transactions incur a network or miner fee. We're going to take a minute to break this down. In the simplest explanation, we pay network operators to help process our transactions on the network. The method in which this happens differs depending on which network you're using. On the Bitcoin and Ethereum networks, along with many others, there are individuals who we call miners who are constantly spending resources like computing power and electricity to help process and secure all transactions on the network. The more crowded or the more transactions needing to be processed results in an increased cost to make a transaction. This method helps prevent spam transactions. We're all thankful for that. Now, when you pay a network fee, the entire thing goes to the miners. This is the incentive to operate a miner on a network. One of the easiest ways to think about this is with change and dollars. In the US, $1 is the same as 100 pennies. It requires more work to count up 100 pennies and give it to someone for payment than it does to hand over a $1 bill. Let's look at an example using Bitcoin. Alice receives 0.01 Bitcoin every day for 100 days. Bob receives a payment of 1 BTC once. Both Alice and Bob now have a 1 Bitcoin balance. Lucky Alice and Bob. Now, when each of them try to send 1 Bitcoin, Alice will have to pay a much larger fee than Bob. This is because the Bitcoin network has to process a lot more data with Alice's transactions, bundling all of her small inputs together, versus Bob, who has just one input. This is similar to a person who tries to spend 100 pennies versus a $1 bill. Both have the same value, but the 100 pennies are much harder to count. It takes a lot more effort to process them and make the transaction. Let's look at some examples of other networks who have feeless or other methods to incentivize individuals to maintain the network. EOS is a good candidate here because it's a feeless network. However, each individual on the EOS network will need to purchase CPU and RAM to make transactions. This is what's called proof of stake. Now, there's also hybrid models, but the point is on most network, there is a cost to make a transaction and 100% of that cost goes to the miner or the individual who is staking resources. If you're an Exodus user, you can always see the fee paid directly to the miners from your wallet in the send window. Exodus will calculate the fees for you by looking at the current network fee structure and then prioritizing your transaction to be processed as fast as possible. What this means is usually in the next block or so. The fee information will also be included in your transaction details and you can always see the fee on the blockchain.